If you own or maintain a diesel engine, you already know it's a tough piece of machinery built for demanding work or play. But to keep it running strong and smooth, one thing matters a lot more than most people realize. Oil viscosity. We'll get into exactly what viscosity is in this episode of Amsoil Garage. Hey everyone, I'm Joe King for Engine Builder. And today we're talking oil viscosity, which is essentially a fluid's resistance to flow. Imagine pouring honey versus water. Honey flows much more slowly because it's more viscous. The same idea applies to engine oil. The right viscosity ensures the oil flows just right to protect your engine parts, especially when temperatures swing from freezing cold to blazing hot. Choosing the wrong viscosity oil can do real damage. It may cause excess wear, poor lubrication, or even engine failure over time. That's why it's so important to follow your engine manufacturer's recommendations. They know what's best for your specific diesel engine design. Oil that's too thick or high viscosity won't flow well in cold starts, which can lead to engine strain. Oil that's too thin or lower viscosity, especially at high temperatures, might not offer enough protection, leading to leaks, overheating, or premature wear. You've probably seen oil labeled something like 10W30. This SAE rating tells you how the oil performs in cold and hot temperatures. The first number before the W, which stands for winter, reflects how the oil flows in cold weather. The second number shows you how it behaves when the engine is running hot. For example, 10W30 oil flows better in the cold than 15W40, but may not provide the same level of protection at high temps. The key is finding a balance based on your climate and engine demands. Where you operate your diesel engine affects which oil is best. In cold climates, you'll want an oil that stays thin enough to circulate quickly during startup. In hotter environments, a thicker oil helps protect engine parts under stress. Engine design also matters. Newer diesel engines with tighter tolerances usually need lower viscosity oils, while older engines or heavy duty models might require something thicker to maintain proper lubrication. Fuel type can also be a factor. Engines running on biodiesel or alternative fuels may have different lubrication needs than those using traditional diesel. When in doubt, check the owner's manual. Manufacturers measure oil viscosity with a device called a viscometer, which gauges how fast oil flows through a small opening. While you don't need to do this yourself, it helps to know that viscosity isn't just a guess. It's a tested and standardized rating. Using the right viscosity oil doesn't just keep your engine safe, it can also improve fuel efficiency, reduce wear and tear, and prevent harmful buildup like sludge or corrosion. In short, it helps your diesel engine stay healthy, run cleaner, and last longer. Here's a final tip. When choosing diesel engine oil, think about your climate, your engine type, and the type of fuel you're using. Stick to what your engine manufacturer recommends and you'll avoid costly repairs and downtime. A little attention to oil viscosity goes a long way toward keeping your diesel engine running like a champ. That does it for this episode of Amsoil Garage. Thanks for tuning in. This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information.